I want to show you something here in my own neighborhood of Southeast Washington, D.C., something I never knew existed until my partner in ministry of so many years, Reverend Pat Mahoney, tipped me off to it. I'm in front of something called the Maples. This is a colonial estate sandwiched in between a residential neighborhood and has a rich history behind it. The place has fallen into terrible decrepitude. It must have been abandoned for some time. I never even noticed it here. It's in such bad shape. But wait till you hear the history behind it. I want to take you up the walkway here and show you something in the interior plaza behind this gate. Come on over. Got to watch the footpath here. It's pretty rocky. But in here, you'll see a, an historic marker on the wall that tells you about the history of the place. It was built by William Duncanson. And while he was the proprietor here, the, the owner, his guest was General George Washington. George Washington stayed in this house, and this is in my neighborhood. It's incredible. Now, uh, you can see it's fallen apart, but it will soon be renovated into luxury condominiums, and Cheryl and I are thinking maybe this would be a place for us to settle permanently on the hill. We're renting nearby, so who knows? But the reason I mention it is because, of course, it's President's Day, which was originally... Uh, to mark the birthday of George Washington. It's become more than that now, and I write about the history of it, but particularly about Washington and his Christian faith on my blog. So that's my little tease. I hope you'll go there and you'll read some very inspiring, maybe some surprising stuff about the founder, the father of our country, an unparalleled leader, General George Washington. And while we're here at the place he once laid his head, I wish you a happy President's Day.